We deal with a single window. We promote the single window for external uh, trade. And uh, single window is a kind of platform grouping all stake uh, stakeholders involved in uh, external, external trade. So actually, we have uh, uh, members uh, coming from the western, eastern, northern, and uh, central, uh, central, and also southern Africa. And uh, actually, our main objective is to promote the implementation of single window across the continent. Uh, can you get us to, into some of your initiatives uh, you know, that has to do with promoting okay, e-commerce? Okay. Uh, in order to promote uh, the single window for foreign trade, uh, we are developing a publication on uh, how African countries can uh, implement uh, a performance single window. Through we publish a guideline uh, with the support of the African Trade Policy Center. Uh, which belong to the ECA Economic uh, Commission for Africa in Addis Ababa. And in 2013, we uh, published the uh, first version of the single window implementation guideline. And it, in 2017 or so, we update that guide in order to inc in include uh, standards in order to include also uh, some recommendation uh, coming from the trade facilitation agreement uh, of the WTO. Mm. Right. So, uh, also, uh, we are dealing with uh, how we can promote uh, cross-border trade through the entire connection of uh, our single window platform. We have uh, some uh, pilot that we did uh, in Central Africa between uh, Republic of Congo and Cameroon, and uh, another pilot in uh, West Africa between Senegal and Cote d'Ivoire. And uh, that project uh, uh, aim to, to, to facilitate the exchange of uh, electronic document like the certificate of origin. All right, so uh, uh, there's an article I read that I want to bring your attention on. It's titled, Africa, uh, an emerging income, uh, I mean, uh, an emerging e-commerce e market with many challenges. So it's, it, it sounds as if Africa is believed to have more challenges when it comes to e-commerce than opportunities. Don't you think so? Uh, actually, uh, I think uh, uh, we, uh, we have to cut that we have uh, some uh, opportunities. Uh, in uh, e-commerce because uh, if you just look uh, through some initiative in uh, certain um, countries, you can see that uh, e-commerce promote and uh, enable uh, SMEs in order to, to develop. So uh, there is a lot of opportunities, but uh, we do have challenge because um, we are starting dealing with e-commerce and um, what is the, uh, the main issue is a lack of information because me, I um, mean uh, Cameroon, I would like to trade with uh, Cote d'Ivoire or uh, Morocco. I, I don't have a lot of information that can help me to better address those market. But I think uh, if we, we deal with uh, uh, with uh, e-government, because the e-government, e-administrative uh, is a kind of, uh, uh, is a kind of uh, base, is, is a kind of basing of uh, e-commerce development. Uh, so I, I think that if we promote well uh, digital, if we promote, uh, if we have uh, um, uh, political will from our countries, uh, e-commerce will be a reality in Africa. All right. Finally, uh, according to statistics, mobile penetration on the continent will reach 50% by 2023. So how best can uh, you know, uh, investors, uh, technology uh, actors, leverage this uh, you know opportunity 
Okay. Uh, actually, uh, in regard to mobile penetration, I think uh, we have a good uh, penetration of mobile. But the problem is how our our SMEs, how our trader uh, who has not a good education can use that mobile phone in order to better trade, in order to develop their their uh, SME through e-commerce. Because when you uh, go through um, some initiative, when uh, I would like to use a mobile phone, I sometimes I need to have uh, uh, some qualification or I need to to, to uh, I need to have some uh, small education in order to use that uh, that that phone. So I think uh, the future is in uh, um, uh, is uh, artificial intelligence. So some uh, investor in uh, phone uh, mobile phone should maybe facilitate or should. Uh, harmonize in order to enable those who uh, have not a good uh, education to uh, use the phone in order to make trade. Mm -hmm. Allow me to ask this particular one. Um, Africa adoption of e-commerce on the continent is uh, uh, hampered by issues such as fraud, uh, difficulties in delivery, <coughs> excuse me, so how can these particular issues be tackled effectively? Absolutely. The, when you uh, look at e-commerce development, the main uh, issue for our SMEs is uh, how I can deliver my goods, for example, in South Africa or in, uh, in, uh, in Kenya. But uh, actually, we, Africa face a, a big issue like uh, addressing because uh, if uh, we don't we cannot map very well uh, the cities for example if you can go in uh, senegal for example in some cities uh, in, in some location sometime you can uh, ask to someone what about your position uh, the geo geographical position but uh, he, he cannot give you uh, an exact address in order to, to, to maybe to visit or to go there. So 